Come on, come on, come on. Food shortage. They are going to get another siege boot before we get this, but we have a pretty good chance of winning this siege already. We just need to actually win it, though. Um, do they have a good general there? No, they don't. Okay, let's go in. Okay, they got the penalties. And we got a little bit of the reserve. That's the Lukens in the reserve. I'm going to slow this down because this is going to be interesting to see how the battles go. Oh, oh, that's a good uh, combat there. Killing a lot more than that they are killing us. Don't think this is going to be a stack one, but this is going to be a pretty darn good uh, start of this combat at least. Oh, I'm well, taking a bit extra casualties now. But our front line is the. Oh, well, actually, we did just lose some units in the front line. Oh boy. It went pretty low in uh, morale there for a little bit. But we got some prestige out of it. Got a lot of armor tradition, actually. And a bit of war exhaustion. They got a lot more exhaustion, though. And they also lost a lot more than what we did. So what we lost is 1,600 men. They lost al almost 3,000. So nearly twice as much. I mean, we were defending, of course. Right. Um... I might actually just take that now. And then get the money. That means that Luca is not going to like that. Probably, but... At least we have a claim there. Uh, Pisa would be... It's actually only... Oh, it went... It's for Luca, okay. So if I would take that, I mean, hmm, that wouldn't be AE for me. They would only get eight accuracy expansion. It's actually not that bad for them, but yeah, I think I'm just going to take Livorno because I would not be able to take Pisa for myself. Which means that Luca might not enjoy this peace deal, but it's fine. It's an easy victory. That's uh, all I really needed right now. Plus a bit more coastline. Now, there was no harborage here yet, no. And both of these... Oh, actually, this one has a bit better roads. This one has... Uh, well, it does have a little bit of pathing, I suppose. Right, so now I can put you back to rebel suppression. But yeah, at least we got one, then in the next war that we do against them, assuming... Oh no, now that Pisa is... Okay, Pisa is going to be joining a trade league, most likely. Unless... Who are they? Well, they got Bologna as a rival, Ravenna and Luca as a rival, okay. And Bologna is still part of the Genoese trade league. So we've got a total of... Um, Oh, we lost 2,000 manpower, and we got about two and a half ducats from the looting. That's not a lot. We're going to speed up a little bit. But that was a, a quick war. I'll take it. We're a bit low on manpower right now, but it will get better later on. And this is actually part of the Siena stage right now. It is uh, actually taking us one step closer to getting the mission done. Oh, and it's the start of the year. Now we have a place to get a claim on some other places. Right, so the Reconquer Pisa. So we got Livorno. Need to get Pisa and Luca for that mission. I mean, as we saw, Pisa is probably going to be easy, assuming that they stay out of uh, trade leagues. But it's most likely going to be joining Genoa or Genoese trade league or something like that. Although, I suppose Luca is not part of a trade league right now. Even though they could be. Are they... Hmm. Where can I see their... 
No Serenian Republic. I don't think, is that a free CC then? No, that would be something else, right? 17 free CCs. Luca is not one of them. Okay. Oh wow, there's 107 printers right now. <laughs> I'm making my best to reduce the number a little bit. Although I suppose once the Italy leaves the HRE anyway, at some point it's not going to be a problem. Although that's still going to be like well over 100 years away, I think. I think I'll pay off another loan. Have a look. Okay, so the bank loans do indeed lower your Republican tradition a lot of it. It's not a massive impact, but it does reduce it. Oh, right. I don't think I actually need that um, spy network in there anymore. Let's just go improve relations with outraged countries. I suppose I didn't really take that much. Yeah, no, the Akresa expansion is basically nothing. Huh. Oh. Yeah, if I was to declare war on Bologna, Genoa would join, yeah, and so would the rest of the league. Oh, wait, no, um, yeah, Genoa would join, Trieste, Ravenna, Trent, and Siena. Okay, <laughs> but I can't really do much about that. Tecklenburg, where is Tecklenburg, actually? In Germany, oh, wow. <laughs> it's in northwestern Germany. That's a bit of a long-term ally, or a long-distance ally, rather. Right, so how is the construction advancing in here? Um, still needs naval goods, and um, needs some labour, but I think we'll get that soon enough. Then we'll have our harbour in there, and we'll have a harbour in Pisa. I don't think I'll build a harbour in Livorno. I forgot, what does the harbour actually give? It gives naval force limit per uh, 1,000 burgers, gives 1.2 naval force limit. Um, oh, right. And it reduces the embark cost for um, communications efficiency 20% per level by the looks of it. Or at least the first is 20% reduction. And then residents give um, 0.15 naval force limit per thousand. How much do you have residents in here actually? Uh, we got 6,000, so that would be 6 times 0. 0.15, that's 6, uh, almost a 1 full point. Did it give anything else? Reduce cost to enter, oh right, yeah. Facilities, river transport, if applicable. Rise naval force limit from the provincial urban population for use at sea. Uh, the river provinces will provide 10% of the values listed. Right. Well, I don't think this is really going to help. Oh wait, no, we do have a harbour uh, here, so this will actually provide a little bit naval force limit, I suppose. Interesting. If there's a river going through, you might be able to have a bridge in there, so Firenze already has one. But <laughs> all the trade is all the all the ships are technically going through Pisa right now. That's one of the reasons why we do need to take that out. Oh, Ottomans declared one Bulgaria. Oh, look at that. Ottomans have taken... Oh dear, Rome is kind of uh, <laughs> under siege by now. Oh yeah, it is at war with Ottomans. Oh dear. I guess Constantinople is going to fall a bit sooner than historically. Oh, hold on a minute. Do we have... Oh, we got a lot of merchants. I didn't realise we had that many. Okay, well, let's go ahead and um, from here, that is, uh... oh, right, so Western Mediterranean, uh, some of that goes to Tarasi, so we can transfer trade power. Uh, does this transfer it? Yeah, it does. We'll transfer the trade power from there. Let's actually, easier probably to just select this one. Adriatic Sea. Um, just this one. Oh, wait, no. Hold on a minute. Oh, right, it's the Venice uh, area. Okay, yeah. We'll transfer some trade power from there as well. 
no one tells you how much of an increase it's going to have in the income, but we'll see. It's currently is about two ducats. We'll have a look at that at the next month. Although I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be calculating all that next month or not. 2.11. So it went up by about 0 0.12 ducats. So a little bit like in terms of the grand scheme of things. Yeah, it's a pretty good improvement. Uh, let's go ahead and pay off another loan again. I want to keep a bit of a cash reserve in here. At the same time, I do want to improve the stuff there. And oh, right. We'll be able to see if that construction is built soon. Half an infantry unit maintenance. Yeah, true. Speaking of infantry units, are we over our limit again? I don't think we are. Or maybe we are because we haven't gotten the mission completed. Well, that might recalculate now, so we'll see. Yeah, I really want to get that hard bridge in here. Right, um... Yeah, no, we are over our fourth limit right now. So that's costing us a little bit extra, but it's... Raised regimens over fourth limit, so that's 0.4 ducats extra. Actually, that is a fair bit. Oh, and CNE separatists are starting to gain a bit of ground there. Hmm. Do we still we do still have the uh, policy for reducing unrest? There's the loose lips there. Hmm. The lookout... Oh! But they didn't actually hate the beast deal, even though I kind of tried to make it so that they would cancel the alliance. Well, I like to do Genoa as well. And with Genoa, we actually have really good relations right now. Who are you allied? Cyprus, Austria, and Florence. Oh, right. Is there the... Government rank, we're currently a minor importance. I have to punch them to make them hate us. Possibly. Um, so we've got 30, or do we have... Oh, right, yeah, we got 30 dev at least. We need to have 100 dev. Which I suppose we have a total of uh, 60 right now. Okay. So if we need... Um, Another 40 dev then. Oh, and we can get the... Hmm. My dear group. Yeah, about halfway there. Um, to be fair, we're so much ahead of time or ahead in the Diplo tech right now that we might want to get something from the Diplo tree. Yeah, I mean, trait ideas might be okay. Can't take aristocracy. Oh, actually, we can take aristocracy ideas. Possibly, but I, mean, I don't think we want that one. Yeah, trade ideas would be good for the. Measurement from trade centers. Oh, great range. Trade power, provincial trade power, and modifier. Most moder production in inefficiency. On the other hand, if we just take the quality, we can slowly increase it. Whenever we are kind of ahead of time in... Uh... Oh. That is actually going to increase discipline. Oh, we're going to get a policy for that. Oh, right. Yeah, I think we're going to take the quality nonetheless. Now the question is, we oh yeah, we're about to get that, so we'll get the tech, then we'll get one idea. We'll probably alternate with, between the techs and the ideas. And I suppose at this stage, we can pay off the final loan. 
We're getting about two and a half ducats uh, per month right now. That's not bad. And as soon as we can get the uh, land force limit to increase a little bit, although... Oh, right, it's the garrisons, isn't it, that increase the land force limit? Oh, never mind. No, it is not. I might just be population in general, then. Oh, wait, no, I remember now. It's the kind of, depending on the... Obligations, that's not, the, not that one. Levies, right. And there's volunteers, business service. We'll have a little bit at some point, but yeah, it's not mm, not necessarily good enough right now. But not much I can do about it. Uh, so did we get the harbor? Oh yes, we did get the harbor done here. But we're not getting any extra naval materials yet. But it might just take some time. There we go. We're getting the mill tech. Oh, the next tech is going to increase the tactics. Now, how much are the ideas uh, costing each? 244. That's partially probably because the corruption is increasing the... Um, all power costs 8% increase, so it would be... 200 and something? I'm not entirely sure what... Hold on a minute. Maybe 200 and... Well, it's over 200 base, that's much I can guarantee you. 230, yeah, I could be. Or somewhere around there, maybe 225? No, it wouldn't be that. Wait. Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter. All we know that we need to have about oh, about 250 points and we can get the idea. That's really what matters. Oh, right, it's 1st of January. I was like, the game really is thinking about something right now. When is the truce ending with Pisa? That's uh, 1379, so in five years. Wonder. They haven't joined a uh, trade league yet. If they don't buy then, then I might be able to win them. Well, with the help of Luca, probably again. I might be able to deal with that. What I can do is I can invite Luca after I've gotten my armies on Pisa, so that they won't be able to take the siege of that. And then, I wonder if Milan, I mean, Milan got bit beaten back in the one battle that we had, but that's about it. They might be recovering a little bit in here. Yeah, getting Pisa, and then we'll have to break our alliance with Luca. Get someone bigger instead. I mean, Papal States, for example, are you, you still got two allies, you can't have more than that. You're guaranteed by France. I mean, France has been the Papal controller or courier controller for a few times. Oh, we lost the... Oh, we lost the general. Oh, no. Uh, I'm sure the ruler can be... Oh, well, he's not bad. 3221. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to be seeing all that much action. Actually, how much do you have in industry? Not much. Oh, we're going to gain some corruption. We could also gain some points through that, but I think we're just going to go with... Oh, these are all horrible. We'll go with the Diplomat Candidate, which has the most uh, mill points. Just in progress, and I'm just going to keep that as it is. Hmm. Oh. 
They're building a second level harborage. Interesting, that's not started by me. Arbitrary. Ooh. Unrelated, but lately we've been getting an itch for more World War 1 to World War 2 games. Harry wants to have a random as well, not have always the allies access commentary groups. Hmm. I wonder. I'm assuming you still mean like uh, strategy games, uh, type of like Highs of Iron or something like that. Yeah, I don't. I can't think of anything right now. Yeah, there isn't much on the market in terms of uh, the World War Two or World War One type of uh, strategy games that are kind of in um, alternate reality or alternate universe or something like that. I mean, clearly the solution is that you need to make one yourself. Let's go full seed on that niche. Yeah, I mean, there, there are some real-time strategy games that could kind of work for that, but not really the grand strategy games. Unless there's something that... All, I mean, sure enough, there's probably a lot of games that I'm not aware of. But in that particular niche. Okay, still getting a two ducats per month. And are we... We're definitely still over our force limit. 1.46 ducats per month. Oh dear. Oh right, so our total force limit is about 5.2. Interesting. And how to model, take the Hot Run 3 Black Eyes and mod the map, take over railroad events, and then have different worlds to grow their militaries and fight. First, you can manage the line of if it already exists. Fair enough. Um, I mean, I think Hot Run 3 would be a bit of a problem. I mean, you'd be forced to have three factions. Um, Hot Run 4 might work slightly better because you could have more factions, but even then, it's. Um, might not work uh, what you want in terms of the core mechanics in that engine. Right, so they are building our bridge. And it's already level 1. Oh, bubonic outbreak spawn in Lübeck. Oh dear. And that's luckily on the other end of HRE. Uh, in his... Oh wow. The public order over here in it's just going down. I mean there's a lot of trauma. Um is there something that is Oh the bandage is causing some problems there. Let's send in the troops directly in there then. It's too much of a niche. You know, our Aurora Core is a wider niche than what you have. Yeah, possibly. So you still get oh, and it's the photo generator again. Right, so we can get some of these. Oh, I suppose I can put all of these again under that, but I think if the army is right in here, Hansen, thanks for the resub. Thirty-four months. How's it going, man? 